Hi, my name is Dee Dee and welcome to the latest episode of Coffee and Council. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, since March 2020, the UK government asked millions of people to stay at home to help protect the NHS and save lives. Consequently, this meant that millions of people were unable to work and employers of all sizes were faced with a difficult challenge on whether to let staff go, lay staff off or decrease their hours or make them redundant if they could not make use of the coronavirus job retention scheme. However, and unsurprisingly, most employment contracts had not been drafted in contemplation of a pandemic. And what we at CG Professional have found during this time is that in most cases, employers do not have employment contracts which contain terms that provide them with the necessary flexibility to respond to this unprecedented situation. With lessons learned, employers should ensure that their employment contracts have been updated to ensure that they are pandemic proof, which is particularly important as we approach the end of the furlough scheme, which is currently due to conclude at the end of April 2021. Pandemic proofing includes the following. Layoff and short term working. If there is a downturn in work, employers may want the option to lay off staff temporarily or introduce short term working. This provides employers with the flexibility and is an alternative to making redundancies. However, it cannot be imposed on employees without the employee's express consent if it is not included in the contract. How long an employee can be laid off or placed on short-term working for will depend on the terms of the contract of employment. 2. Withdrawing or reducing contractual benefits temporarily. Employers may find that economic pressure may mean that they would like to have the option of withdrawing or reducing contractual benefits such as bonuses or company cars in circumstances where cash flow or the business has been impacted or employees are furloughed. If the contract does not provide that an employer is entitled to vary contractual benefits, they will not be able to do this without the express consent of the employee. The flexibility provided by these clauses may ultimately protect the ongoing employment relationship by providing alternatives to redundancies and helping ensure the survival of business until things return to normal. 3. Ability to request that staff work from home. An obvious situation that has arisen due to the pandemic is employees requiring staff to work from home. However, if the contract does not provide for the employee to work from home when required, imposing this change will technically amount to a unilateral variation of the contract, which is not permitted. Throughout certain periods of the pandemic, it has of course been the government guidance that employees must work from home where possible, and therefore this has given employers good grounds for requiring this change. However, moving forward, it may be that employers want to require employees to work from home, even when the government guidance changes. Additionally, employers need to ensure that their template contracts of employment are updated in line with the April 2020 changes to the rules on Section 1 statements. New items were added to the list of compulsory information that must be included in employment contracts. These include the following. Detail on the days of the week your staff are required to work, whether the days and working hours may be variable and how any variation will be determined. Details of other paid leave, in addition to sick leave and holidays. This now includes, for example, maternity and paternity leave and any paid compassionate leave that you may provide. Details of the benefits you provide. Details of any probationary period. Any training entitlement you provide, which part of that training is compulsory and any other compulsory training that you do not meet the cost of. Any employee starting employment on or after the 6th of April 2020 must be provided with a contract which includes the April 2020 changes and it must be provided on or before the employee starts work. Therefore, it is a day one right. The Good Work Plan explained that the reason for expanding the information to be provided to employees in a statement and for it to be provided at the outset of the relationship was to ensure that the statement is as useful as possible to both the individual and the employer and allows the individual to make informed choices. 
At CG Professional, we have been assisting our clients to ensure that their contracts are pandemic proof and have been updated in line with the new April 2020 changes. If you require any assistance in ensuring that your employment contracts work for you, especially as the coronavirus job retention scheme comes to an end, please do not hesitate to get in touch with a member of the employment team at CG Professional.